Chapter one, the production surge. No one saw coming. How did America quietly build nearly 40 stealth bombers without the world noticing? The Pentagon just confirmed it. The B-21 Raider program is moving at a pace that's shocking military analysts worldwide. While most believe the US Air Force was testing just one prototype, classified sources and insider reports tell a different story. America isn't building one or two stealth bombers. It's building nearly 40 at once. This is the largest leap in US strategic bomber capability since World War II, and it's happening quietly behind the heavily guarded walls of Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The second B-21 is days away from its first flight, a milestone that proves this isn't just a slow-moving R&D project. This is full-scale production. Why is this such a big deal? The last stealth bomber, the B-2 Spirit, was an engineering marvel, but a production nightmare. Only 21 were ever built due to astronomical costs and manufacturing bottlenecks. The B-21 has learned from those mistakes. Digital twin technology, AI-driven assembly, and augmented reality systems are making this bomber faster to produce, cheaper to maintain, and easier to scale. Industry insiders are calling it the most ambitious stealth aircraft build in history. And the fact it's happening without major delays or cost blowouts has even defense contractors stunned. America isn't just building the next stealth bomber, it's building an entire fleet. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. Chapter two, satellite clues and hidden shapes. What's hiding under those massive tarps at Plant 42? The first hint of this production surge didn't come from a press release. It came from the sky. Commercial satellite imagery over Palmdale revealed unusual activity at Plant 42, the same site that built the legendary B-2 Spirit. Aviation photographers noticed increased security checkpoints, new fencing, and restricted airspace overhead. Most tellingly, multiple massive aircraft outlines were visible under white protective coverings, positioned in open areas that normally stay empty. The official program had admitted to just one bomber in testing. These images suggested dozens. Security teams on the ground were spotted escorting every movement of parts and materials. Some satellite passes even caught the shapes of partially assembled fuselages, evidence the facility was running at full capacity. The real confirmation came when General Thomas Bassier, head of Air Force Global Strike Command, publicly mentioned that a second developmental test aircraft was ready for flight. That single comment told analysts everything. This wasn't a small-scale prototype project. This was an industrial-scale stealth bomber buildup. While China's H-20 bomber remains years from service, with only one rumored prototype flight by 2023, and Russia's PAC-DA remains stuck in funding delays, the United States is already rolling out multiple bombers. Nearly 40 in production means the U.S. could field an operational force before either rival gets a single next-gen stealth bomber combat ready. Behind the scenes, the B-21's assembly process is breaking military manufacturing records. Augmented reality headsets guide workers through wiring layouts with millimeter precision. AI-driven robotics handle delicate panel installations. Even paint applications for stealth coating are automated to reduce imperfections. And the result? A bomber that can fly daily without needing the pampering the B-2 required. No special climate-controlled hangars. No week-long maintenance cycles between missions. The B-21 is being built for real-world operational tempo not museum-level preservation. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Chapter three, a shape built for ghost mode. What makes the B-21 nearly invisible to radar? At first glance, the B-21 looks like the B-2 Spirit's younger twin, but that's where the similarities end. Every curve, every seam, every surface has been engineered to disappear from radar. The engines aren't just quiet, they're buried deep inside the fuselage to hide heat signatures. The airframe is flawless and smooth, with no protruding antennas, panels, or gaps that could reflect radar waves. It's coated in next-generation radar-absorbing materials that are tougher and longer-lasting than anything on previous stealth bombers. This isn't just about staying hidden. It's about staying hidden for decades, with minimal upkeep, 
while flying more missions than any stealth bomber before it. Chapter 4. Designed in a Digital World How do you build a bomber without cutting a single piece of metal first? The B-21 wasn't drawn on blueprints. It was born in a fully digital, 3D environment. Engineers created digital twins for every component, system, and assembly step before any physical parts were made. In the digital model, they could stress test the wings in simulated storms, run airflow simulations at supersonic speeds, and integrate radar cross-section analysis to find and remove every detectable angle. Problems that might have caused months of delays in older programs were solved in hours, virtually. Even the assembly process was tested virtually, from how technicians would maneuver inside the airframe to where tools and parts should be staged on the factory floor. This allowed them to streamline production before it began. Once in production, those same digital models became living blueprints. When a new system, say a hypersonic missile bay, needs to be integrated in the future, it can be tested in the virtual twin before it ever touches a real aircraft. That means no expensive redesigns, no grounding aircraft for years, and upgrades that can be rolled out fleet-wide in record time. This is why the B-21 is considered a forever aircraft. Not because it's indestructible, but because it can evolve faster than threats. The Invisible Factory, AI and Robotics in Assembly. How do you build dozens of stealth bombers without slowing down? The B-21 assembly line isn't your grandfather's factory floor. Inside Plant 42, AI-driven logistics systems track every component, ensuring that parts arrive exactly when needed. Robotic arms, some the size of a small car, handle precision drilling, sealing, and panel installation with accuracy measured in microns. Workers wear augmented reality headsets that overlay step-by-step -step instructions in their field of view, cutting assembly time dramatically. Even the tools themselves are smart, alerting technicians if a fastener isn't torqued to exact specifications. This automation isn't just about speed, it's about consistency. Every B-21 rolling off the line is built to the same exacting standard, whether it's the first bomber or the 40th. And because the entire process is monitored in real time by AI, any potential defects can be caught and corrected long before the aircraft leaves the factory. Chapter 5, Range and Payload Kept in the Shadows How far can the B-21 reach without anyone seeing it coming? Exact figures are classified, but defense analysts estimate the B-21 can fly missions over 6,000 miles without refueling, enough to hit any target on Earth with tanker support. Its payload bays are designed to carry everything from precision-guided conventional bombs to strategic nuclear warheads. Even more telling, the bays are modular, meaning they can be reconfigured for new weapons that haven't even been invented yet. That includes next-generation hypersonic missiles, standoff electronic warfare pods, and advanced decoys that can mimic the B-21's radar signature to confuse enemy defenses. The beauty of its design is that it can carry these weapons internally without ruining its stealth profile. Many bombers lose their invisibility once armed. The B-21 keeps its radar cross-section razor thin, no matter the loadout. Chapter 6. More than just stealth. What if your bomber could fight back while staying invisible? Stealth on the B-21 is more than just shape and coating. It's an active defense system. The aircraft is fitted with advanced electronic warfare suites that can jam, deceive, or blind enemy radar. It can deploy digital decoys that make enemy systems think there are dozens of bombers when only one is present. Heat emissions are managed so effectively that even infrared sensors struggle to lock on. Acoustic dampening reduces its noise footprint, so it's nearly silent to ground-based detection mics. If it's ever targeted by a missile, the B-21 can launch countermeasures to throw it off course, all while remaining locked into its original mission. This isn't stealth as in, don't see me. It's stealth as in, you can't stop me even if you do. Chapter 7 building it cheaper, building it smarter. How do you mass produce a $550 million stealth bomber? The B-2 Spirit's insane $2 billion per unit cost doomed its production. The B-21 fixes that with a target unit cost of $550 million in 2010, a huge drop for a bomber in this class. 
That's achieved through commercial grade components where possible, a single streamlined production line, and a design that minimizes custom parts without sacrificing performance. Robotics perform high precision tasks around the clock. Augmented reality work instructions speed up human crews while reducing errors. Assembly jigs are built with sensors that confirm parts are installed perfectly the first time. Even the stealth coating is cheaper to apply and maintain. No more week-long recoding cycles like the B2 required. This is stealth designed for combat scale, not boutique production. Chapter 8. Strategic Role in U.S. Defense Why is the B-21 considered the air leg of America's ultimate defense? The B-21 is the air leg of America's nuclear triad. It's the bomber that can slip deep into enemy territory, undetected, and deliver the ultimate deterrent. But it's not just for nuclear missions. In conventional wars, it can take out high-value targets, destroy enemy air defenses, and knock out command centers all from secure bases far from the fight. That makes it nearly impossible for an enemy to preemptively strike it. Chapter 9, Training for the Raider. What's it like to train for the world's most advanced bomber? Training a B-21 crew isn't like learning to fly a normal bomber. High-fidelity simulators replicate every mission and emergency scenario. Crews will train on complex operations without burning a gallon of jet fuel. Onboard AI systems will take over routine flight tasks, letting pilots focus on tactics. In the future, the B-21 could even coordinate drone swarms and satellite data in real time, acting as a flying command hub. Chapter 10, ready for tomorrow's battlefield. What makes the B-21 a nightmare for enemy defenses? From the Indo-Pacific to Eastern Europe, anti-air defenses are more advanced than ever. The B-21 is built to slip past them all, to strike, vanish, and reappear over the next target before the enemy knows what happened. Its role in a modern conflict isn't just to destroy targets, it's to break the enemy's confidence that they can defend anything at all. Chapter 11, a reveal meant to send a message. Why did the Air Force hide so much during the B-21's public debut? When the B-21 was unveiled in December 2022 at Plant 42, the public saw just enough to know it was real but not enough to understand its full capabilities. Every photo and video was carefully controlled. Even now, most of what the B-21 can do remains classified. After the reveal, test flights at Edwards Air Force Base confirmed its stealth, range, and performance were meeting, and in some areas exceeding, expectations. The first aircraft has been flying twice a week since late 2023, feeding critical data into the program. Chapter 12, The Future in the Sky. Will the B-21 be America's last manned bomber? The B-21 Raider is more than a bomber. It's a symbol, proof that America can still design, build, and deploy the most advanced weapons in the world at scale. With nearly 40 already in production and plans for at least 100, possibly 200 or more, the Raider will define U.S. air power for decades. Each one rolling out of Palmdale is a reminder. America isn't falling behind. It's moving faster than ever. In the words of one defense analyst, this isn't just the next stealth bomber, this is the future already flying. Chapter 13, China and Russia are watching closely. How are America's rivals reacting to the B-21 buildup? In Beijing and Moscow, military analysts are watching the Raider program with growing concern. China's H-20 stealth bomber has yet to enter full-scale testing and Russia's PAKDA remains a paper project plagued by budget constraints. Both nations now face the reality that by the time they field their own next-generation bombers, the U.S. could already have an operational fleet of dozens. This shift has forced both countries to rethink their air defense strategies. Chinese military planners are accelerating hypersonic missile programs in hopes of creating a deterrent, while Russia is focusing on long-range anti-aircraft systems that could theoretically threaten a B-21 at extreme ranges. Yet even with these measures, neither nation has a proven defense against a bomber designed to operate unseen, strike anywhere, and vanish before a counterattack can be launched. The B-21 isn't just a new aircraft. It's a geopolitical problem that America's rivals haven't yet solved. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.